Hello everyone, King Blue Space here and welcome back to another episode of Juno New Origins and I guess welcome to part 3 of the Saturn V type series whatever you like to call it, I don't know So, in the last episode we launched the Saturn V rocket and um we we got into orbit and we're currently in an encounter with Luna which you guys can see that right there and we're also docked with the lunar lander and we're just now on our way to the lunar surface or on we're just excuse me we're on our way to the moon and um yeah if you guys missed part two then I'll put the video link in the description down below so you can go check that out to see the launch events on part two anyways we're just gonna get started here um there's something really much crazy to do right now but we're just our goal for this episode is to our goal for this episode oh wow look at that brigo flyby bye brigo um so our goal for today is to softly land this lunar lander on the moon successfully. And um maybe next time I'll put solar panels so that the battery can always, you know, be there. And ignition. There we go. We have ignition of the uh service module which will take the um lunar lander into a low lunar orbit. And as that's happening, I do want to say that we are getting close to a uh, to a hundred subscribers. By the time this video is being recorded, we're at ninety seven, um, which is amazing. That you know, this channel has been for about two months, and we're I can't believe that we're just about to get into those hundred subscribers. You know, it's. It's it's an amazing it's an amazing thing and um thank you so much for all of this all of the support including my friends and um yeah I'm looking forward to see on what else I can do to my in my YouTube channel here and then we're just gonna bring that Apple Apps down to make it into a low circular lunar orbit okay um there we go that's a perfect low lunar orbit um now we're just gonna see what it looks what the we're just gonna watch the um um rise the moon rise i would say here we go oh there we go there it is uh now we are going to do a spacewalk let me see if this black if this dark gray crater is on target yeah i want to land in here because it's nice and it's nice and flat to be able to land on but i'm nervous that i'm not gonna make it there but um current but um we're just gonna see what happens so since now since since now we're in a good orbit it's time to put two astronauts into this lunar lander as we speak um in um in real life there in real life it, uh, the lunar lander can only fit two astronauts so uh, we're gonna take these two one of them is gonna stay in the service module while two of them gets to go to the lunar surface oops sorry i just i just hit the camera okay all right let's go i guess here we go um Oh, look at that. There's the moon right there. There is the lunar lander. Actually, I don't need to move. I could just click on it and then just enter. And then uh, this guy can go and um, we can click in here. And then there you go. Now we have two astronauts inside the lunar lander. And we're going to take control. Oh, we're already at, we're already took, we already took control of the lunar lander. All right, we're going to make sure, let me see if the RCS are on. Yep, the RCS are on. We're going to on dock in three, two, wait. Okay, three, two, one. And there we go. There it goes. 
Um, hopefully, one day we'll get back to the service module, but that will be the most difficult part I'm going to need to do. I might not have enough fuel to even do it, so that leads to um, very, very concern. And we're just going to see what happens. I don't know if guys, I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to land because this, if we don't have enough fuel then that could result in an ending. Oh yeah, I think we're going to crash actually, so I'm going to put physics damage on because I really want this to land. Reorientate and... Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Again, guys, physics damage. Physics. Da I want. I uh, physics damage is at zero percent just because I really want this thing to land. Whoa! No! Oh, just, just, just. Oh, 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 oh! We're sideways. We're sideways. We're sideways. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Let's cancel out that huge horizontal velocity. Where's the shadow? Oh, there's the shadow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a hill. That's a giant hill. Turn off. Okay, wait, pitch it back up a bit. Okay. We, um, did we, is it tipping over? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, let's go back up again. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> that seems a lot better right now. Yeah, there we go. We have landed on the lunar surface um, with limited battery though. So that leads to concern if we're not going to be able to make it in time. So the service module is right there. And that's the challenge that I'm going to need to face, which is actually trying to land, trying to dock. But here we go. We landed on the moon. Um, the service module is below horizon, I think. Oh yeah, it's down there about a few kilometers away. Um, let's, let's see. We. Okay, it's not tipping over. Um, here we go. The first step. We successfully landed on the moon. Even though pretty sideways, I wish I would land. I wish I would do some quick digging so I can actually land on the um black side of the crater. But maybe next time, I guess. I really don't know. Um, let's just get the other guy out. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to push it. Um, there we go. Um, wow. We did it, guys. We successfully landed on the lunar surface right here, guys. And, um, yeah, I'm going to face on the camera because that's what we're going to do. That will be it for today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Um, and um, in the next episode, we will be um, returning the astronauts back to the service module, which is the, which is in my opinion will be the most difficult part to do since um, docking reasons and trying to get there. So um, it's possible that I might use the lunar lander's fuel, depending on battery though. Um, so we're probably gonna let it recharge for a bit and if it doesn't recharge then we might be in danger But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. My name is King Blue Space and I'll see you guys next time